y'all. Today is the faithful day that we pack, okay? TJ and I are going abroad, which I don't think I really talk about too much on the channel. Um, we have been planning a trip to Italy for the past few months, and I haven't really brought it up just because one, it just doesn't really come up in a normal video, but two, I still can't believe it myself. We've never been abroad before together anyway, um, and he's never been to Europe. So I'm really excited to take this trip over to Italy, and um, I can't believe I'm literally leaving tomorrow, and I still haven't packed a singular thing in my... Do you see this? This suitcase is empty. This suitcase is empty. So today, you guys are gonna act as my motivation, my reinforcement, because by the time this video airs, I'm either gonna be up in the air, right? In my little plane, or landed without a bag if I if I don't do this. So today, you guys are gonna pack with me or with us, because TJ's also gonna be accompanying us very shortly. Um, and, and we're gonna we're gonna get through this, Your Honor. We're gonna pack, it's gonna be a great trip. We're gonna do this. What does one even pack for Italy? Um, I know it's gonna be hot, so I'm gonna need some sunscreen because I'm very fair skinned. Um, I'm gonna need some light, breathable clothing. So I guess we could get on that first. Uh, she's cute, she's a cute little moment. And because I'm so short, this dress tends to come down below my knees. Um, and I have another one just like it in another color. So that'll at least be nice because then I can get into some of the cathedrals that we're going to. I just need to wear like a cardigan on top of this, which I do have like a little, you know, cute little pink cardigan. I also have a blue one. So we'll make it work. We're in a good position, we're in a good spot. Yeah, we, we can't do it. Well, Obviously, he has we most it. of your stuff back. Because I'm built different. Okay, but... so this is my this is my progress so far. Um, we have created little outfit bundles. Okay, that is that is what I'll call it, and um, so that's where we're at. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling overwhelmed. However, that is nothing that a little iced coffee can fix, right? Right. Don't worry, I'll put the recipe down below. It looked a lot cuter when I served it to TJ. This is technically TJ's iced coffee, but unlike me, he doesn't guzzle iced coffee down like it's the air he breathes. Um, so technically, I guess it's mine now. You didn't like it, babe? No, I did like it. I would, I like to drink my coffee, take my time to really enjoy it, but she basically just took my coffee, so I'm coffee just now. But while I had it, I enjoyed it. As soon as you lose, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, guys, oh, we made progress. So we have here basically all, almost all the things I'm bringing. So we're going to have all my clothes here, pajamas, um, regular outfits um, for the 10 days, and then my underwear and stuff like that in there. And then we also have all of the little like accessories, um, you know, shower cap, hair tools, um, little laundry bag in there, you know, a little lint roller, cause I'm sure that all these clothes, because of the cats I have, have cat hair on them somewhere. So just so I don't look rough in um, another country, we're gonna get a lint roller. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I think the only thing that I haven't shown you guys is my, you know, like all the personal hygiene items. So they're gonna go into my backpack. That's gonna be my personal item for the flight. Um, I just wanted easier access to it so I can brush my teeth and I'm not like super crusty on the airplane. Um, yeah, so that's all gonna come with me. And I'm really excited. I was really stressed out at first because it seemed like an insurmountable task, but we got it done. The only thing we have to pack up is like last minute hygiene and chargers and all that fun stuff, which, you know, obviously we're gonna use those tonight and part of tomorrow morning. So we're gonna wait, pack those up later, and I think for right now, that is gonna end this packing vlog. But this is just a small and very beginning part of our venture. Um, we have a two-parter flight tomorrow, um, one coming from Virginia to Dublin, and then we have a connecting from Dublin to Milan, and that'll be our final destination for the next 14 days as we're traveling around Italy on, on trains and all that fun stuff. So with that being said, this is gonna end the video this video, today's portion anyway, but I am gonna update you guys as I get into Milan or as we get on the airplane and do all that fun stuff. Um, because I think I wanna do kind of like a coffee vlog throughout the different cities and stuff that we go to. I really wanna like try the different like recommended, you know, beverages and stuff like that at each of these cafes. I mean, this is gonna be so amazing. Like I, 
I can't believe I'm going to like the place where espresso like started. Like this is this is like me. I'm like I'm just geeking out. I guess I'm getting old because I find that in and of itself super exciting. Even if we don't do anything else, the idea that I'm trying espresso in another country that basically started it is 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 amazing. So yeah, I will catch you guys on the flight tomorrow. <laughs> We made it to Dublin. Nine hours, but we made it. Hey there, baby. We made it. Awesome. I'm trying not to. Use my street smart. So Try to use your what? Street so smart. So close to the camera. <laughs> that's because that's how you have it. That's how I'm here. <laughs> Roundabout, and you know what we saw? No, you know what I just found. You know what CJ just found? ordered our first coffee to go on a table because for that Italian I butchered every pronunciation possible but we we're gonna try a little latte macchiato mm -hmm. so good so good the Starbucks roastery reserve in Milan is close by so we are gonna go check it out I'm excited I'm like a little old also museum, it looks like. So are you trying to get an alcoholic beverage? Absolutely. Or? I'm thinking about, I think I might do the strawberry si silver needle spritzer. Okay. So this bottom one. I know. Oh, I hey. might do the chocolate oh, no, strawberry cream cold brew. Guys, it's spirit free. I can't do that one. <laughs> I need some right. alcohol right now. Oh look, they have a gelato shake. Hey. Um, honestly, I think I want to do the strawberry cream cold brew. Hey. There's a mocha beyond cream cold brew. I want to do a little How do you like it? Yeah. And then it's with the Campari, but it's not too strong. From the Campari is stronger than Afro, but it's really good. It looks really refreshing. It does. I was watching him make it. I must say, it was very entertaining. Not the not the bulging eyes. It's like it's like a cocktail, but like off. It's really weird. But it's so refreshing. It's like a coffee mojito. We're at our last day in Milan. We decided to stop for coffee. How do you like it, Bam? Very good. Very yeah. impressive. Yeah. And uh, we both got cappuccinos, so that's nice. And we both got cornetos. Little crystals. Really good.
Okay, we just finished in Benicia. How did you like it, TJ? Absolutely beautiful. It was beautiful. I could move here. Me too, but probably not for a number of years. Um, we are on our way to Rome. I'm excited to try the coffee scene there. I'll be honest, I was very poor about filming my coffee venture in yes, you were. Venice. Um, I did film my Freddo latte, so that counts. But we'll be able to... You gotta do better in Rome. Yeah, we have to do better in Rome. We promise we'll do better in Rome. And find a cat cafe. Yes, we want to do a cat cafe if there is one. I heard there's a lot of feral cats in Rome, so... We actually saw one in, in Venice. There's a lot of dogs and cats here. Anyway, well, we have a train to board very shortly, and we will update you guys when we get there. Okay, guys, this is our first full day in Rome. And I apologize yesterday, I was very poor about showing my coffee for the day. Um, we were going through a lot yesterday. We were going through a lot. That Pantheon, everything. Ro Rome is, what I realized, very chaotic. It probably in the best way possible, but there's like just a whole lot going on. But anyway, so while sightseeing yesterday, we, we went to the Pantheon and then we decided to stop into the grocery store because we're at an Airbnb this time. And I found these like different Starbucks, like original line Nespresso pods that they don't have in the US. And I went back and forth on like if I wanted to try them or buy them. And TJ was like, just go for it. And I was like, okay. So I did. And we have a few different things to try when I get back, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, they have like Guatemala, Sumatra, it, like an Italian style blend, and Cafe Verona. I was like, wow, they all, I know they have some of those for like the virtual line, but not for the original line. So I'm excited to um, show that when I get back. And then when we were in um, Milan, this was a while back, I also found these matcha pods that you can put into your original line machine. And it says that it's original line espresso compatible, so that'll be fun. But anyway, so I thought I'd share my little finds. Um, we're about to go to a coffee shop because I desperately need caffeine. And then we're going to walk to our little sightseeing attractions. We're doing all the, the basic uh, touristy stuff in Rome. Coliseum, Rome Forum, Caledonia Hill, all that fun stuff. So you'll be coming along with us. <laughs> So I thought I would insert this part of, or a little message portion or a little blip in the video because I realized in collecting some footage for the Italy coffee vlog that I'm hoping to post very, very shortly and get out to you guys, that in trying to get some footage from my time in Florence, um, I didn't actually even try any coffee. And that's because after the cat cafe in Italy um, and on our way to Florence, I probably had one coffee I think at the Gucci cafe which I'll insert a photo here it was really really yummy definitely one of the highlights of Florence um because shortly after that I ended up getting very very ill um I was like I don't know if I got food poisoning or something but because I was on anti-nauseas and some pain medication that I got while I was in the hospital over there um I decided not to drink anything too heavy on the stomach like alcohol like coffee um just to give my stomach some reprieve um while I was at the latter part of our trip so unfortunately I don't have much footage from there I was bedridden at least for a whole day there um because I, I got so sick I, speaking of which I should really start 
carving out at least a day or two on vacations now for me getting sick because I feel like this happens very, very frequently. It happened the last trip that TJ and I went on domestically and it happened on the trip before that. So I think I'm just gonna start planning for the fact that my stomach is gonna act up. Like maybe it's just me not used to eating something. Maybe my immune system is just shot when I travel. It's probably the planes, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't have much footage at all in either this TJ um, from the time in Florence because I, I didn't really get to do much, unfortunately. We didn't even get to go to the Uffizi Gallery and see David and the Academia. I'm a big art lover, so I was really, really sad that I didn't get to see it. But that means I'll just have to plan another trip back and be able to um, actually go and see it and appreciate the art because that's really what I went there to do. We did see a lot of wonderful art pieces um, in other parts, like in a lot of the cathedrals that we went to or the Basilica. Um, and even we went to go see um, uh, Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper in Milan, which is absolutely gorgeous. Maybe I'll put a picture of it here. And of course, we went to the Sistine Chapel in Rome. I believe I put some footage up there in the video as well, so you guys will be able to see that. But it was a wonderful trip overall. Really hoping to go back, but I just wanted to end out this video this way because unfortunately I don't have any footage from Florence. I know, don't be mad. Um, hopefully next time I'll be able to get my stomach and body together so that I won't have these like stomach issues when I travel. But thank you guys for staying tuned for this little vlog. I'm looking forward to posting my next video, doing some coffee shop tours around Baltimore before I leave. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye.